Over the millennia, animals have gone extinct on Earth for many different reasons. Sometimes it's because of a dramatic shift in the climate. Other times it was because of human intervention. Advances in science, specifically biotechnology, could enable scientists to bring some of these animals back from extinction. And there are a few already on the list. Here is a list of terrifying animals scientists are about to bring back. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like these. Number 1. Woolly Mammoth the woolly mammoth is an extinct species of mammoth that lived during the Pleistocene until its extinction in the early Holocene epoch. It was one of the last in line of mammoth species, beginning with Mammothus subplanifrons in the early Pleocene. The woolly mammoth was roughly the same size as modern African elephants. Males reached shoulder heights between 2.7 and 3.4 meters and weighed up to 6 metric tons. Females reached 2.6 to 2.9 meters in shoulder height and weighed up to 4 metric tons. A newborn calf weighed about 90 kilograms. The woolly mammoth was well adapted to the cold environment during the last ice age. It was covered in fur with an outer covering of long guard hairs and a shorter undercoat. The color of the coat varied from dark to light. The ears and tail were short to minimize frostbite and heat loss. It had long curved tusks and four molars which were replaced six times during the lifetime of an individual. Number 2. Caspian Tiger The Caspian Tiger was a Panthera tigris population which lived from eastern Turkey, northern Iran, Mesopotamia, the Caucasus, around the Caspian Sea through Central Asia to northern Afghanistan and Xinjiang in western China. This population was assessed as extinct in 2003. The skins of Caspian and Amur tigers indicate that the main background color of the Caspian tiger's fur varied and was generally brighter and more uniform than that of the Siberian tiger. Pure black patterns were invariably found only on head, neck, and middle of the back and the tip of the tail. Angular patterns at the base of the tail were less developed than those of far eastern populations. The contrast between the summer and winter coats was sharp, though not to the same extent as in far eastern populations. The winter coat was paler, with less distinct patterns. The summer coat had a similar density and hair length to that of a Bengal tiger, though its stripes were usually narrower, longer, and closer set. Number 3. Aurochs the aurochs, also known as Urus or Ur, Bos primigenius, is an extinct species of large wild cattle that inhabited Asia, Europe, and North Africa. It is the ancestor of domestic cattle. The aurochs were one of the largest herbivores in post-glacial Europe, comparable to the European bison. During the Holocene, aurochs from Denmark and Germany had an average height at the shoulders of 155 to 180 centimeters in bulls and 135 to 155 centimeters in cows, while aurochs populations in Hungary had bulls reaching 155 to 160 centimeters. The body mass of aurochs appears to have shown some variability. Some individuals were comparable in weight to the wizen and the bantang, reaching around 700 kilograms, whereas those from the late middle Pleistocene are estimated to have weighed up to 1,500 kilograms, as much as the larger gaur. The horns of the aurochs were characteristic in size, curvature, and orientation. They were curved in three directions, upwards and outwards at the base, then swinging forwards and inwards, then inwards and upwards. Number 4. Carolina Parakeet The Carolina Parakeet is an extinct species of small green neotropical parrot with a bright yellow head, reddish-orange face, and pale beak native to the eastern, midwest, and plains states of the United States. It lived in old-growth forests along rivers and in swamps. Carolina Parakeets were probably poisonous. American naturalist and painter John J. Audubon noted that cats apparently died from eating them and they are known to have eaten the toxic seeds of cockleburs. The majority of the plumage was green with lighter green underparts, a bright yellow head and orange forehead and face extending to behind the eyes and upper cheeks. The shoulders were yellow, continuing down the outer edge of the wings. The primary feathers were mostly green, but with yellow edges on the outer primaries. Thighs were green towards the top and yellow towards the feet. Male and female adults were identical in plumage, However, males were slightly larger than females. The legs and feet were light brown. They shared the zygodactyl feet of the parrot family. The skin around the eyes was white, and the beak was pale, flesh-colored. Number 5. Labrador Duck 
The Labrador duck was a North American bird. It has the distinction of being the first endemic North American bird species to become extinct after the Columbian Exchange, with the last known sighting occurring in 1878 in Elmira, New York. It was already a rare duck before European settlers arrived, and as a result of its rarity, information on the Labrador duck is not abundant, although some, such as its habitat, characteristics, dietary habits, and reasons behind extinction are known. There are 55 specimens of the Labrador duck preserved in museum collections worldwide. The female plumage was gray. Although weakly patterned, the pattern was scotter-like. The male's plumage was black and white with an eider-like pattern but the wings were entirely white except for the primaries. The trachea of the male was scotter-like. An expansion of the tracheal tube occurred at the anterior end, and two enlargements were near the middle of the tube. The Labrador duck migrated annually, wintering off the coasts of New Jersey and New England in the eastern United States, where it favored southern sandy coasts, sheltered bays, harbors, and inlets, and breeding in Labrador and northern Quebec. Number 6. Woolly Rhinoceros the woolly rhinoceros is an extinct species of rhinoceros that was common throughout Europe and Northern Asia during the Pleistocene epoch and survived until the end of the last glacial period. The woolly rhinoceros was a member of the Pleistocene megafauna. The woolly rhinoceros was the most derived of the genus Coelodonta. The closest extinct relative to the woolly rhinoceros is Elasmotherium. An adult woolly rhinoceros typically measured 3 to 3.8 meters from head to tail with an estimated weight of around 1,800 to 2,700 kilograms. It grew up to 2 meters tall at the shoulder, about the same size as the white rhinoceros. The skull had a length between 70 to 90 centimeters. It was longer than those of other rhinoceros, giving the head a deep, downward-facing slanting position similar to its fossil relatives Stephanorhinus hemiotochus and Elasmotherium, as well as the white rhinoceros. Strong muscles on its long occipital bone formed its neck hock and held the massive skull. Its massive lower jaw measured up to 60 centimeters long and 10 centimeters high. Number 7. Heath Hen The Heath Hen was a distinctive subspecies of the greater prairie chicken, Tympanuchus cupido, a large North American bird in the grouse family that became extinct in 1932. Heath hens lived in the scrubby heartland barrens of coastal North America from southernmost New Hampshire to northern Virginia in historical times, but possibly south to Florida prehistorically. Heath hens were extremely common in their habitat during colonial times, but being a gallinaceous bird, they were hunted by settlers extensively for food. In fact, many have speculated that the Pilgrims' first Thanksgiving dinner featured heath hens and not wild turkey. By the late 18th century, the heath hen had a reputation as a poor man's food for being so cheap and plentiful. Very similar to the greater prairie chicken of the Great Plains, but slightly smaller, the length of the bird was approximately 17 inches, and weight was about 2 pounds. Several key plumage characteristics separated the heath hens from their Great Plains counterparts. Heath hens generally displayed a strong reddish hue in their plumage, especially in their crop area, and much thicker barring throughout the breast and sides. Their pinnae were generally pointed, and tails were a grayish-brown. Number 8. Moa Moa were nine species of now-extinct flightless birds endemic to New Zealand. The two largest species, Dinornis robustus and Dinornis Nove zylandiae, reach about 3.6 meters in height with neck outstretched and weighed about 230 kilograms. Moa belong to the order Dinonithiforms, traditionally placed in the ratite group. However, their closest relatives have been found by genetic studies to be the flighted South American Tynemus, once considered to be a sister group to ratites. The nine species of moa were the only wingless birds lacking even the vestigial wings that all of the ratites have. Number 9. Pyrenean Ibex The Pyrenean Ibex, Aragonese and Spanish common name Bucardo, Catalan common name Herc and French common name Boquetin, was one of the four subspecies of the Iberian ibex or Iberian wild goat, a species endemic to the Pyrenees. In January 2000, the Pyrenean ibex became extinct. Other subspecies have survived, while the Portuguese ibex had already become extinct. The Pyrenean ibex had short hair which varied according to seasons. During the summer, its hair was short, and in winter, the hair grew longer and thicker. Male and female ibex could be distinguished due to color, fur, and horn differences. The male was a faded grayish brown during the summer, and they were decorated with black in several places on the body, such as the mane, forelegs, and forehead. 
In the winter, the ibex was less colorful. The female ibex, though, could be mistaken for a deer since its coat was brown throughout the summer. Do let us know any other animals that you think scientists are about to bring back in the comments below.